think I'm live. <laughs> it says I'm live, but good morning. Uh, my name is Julie. I am the owner and founder of Lady Valtai. Uh, so you are either watching this on my Facebook page, uh, my Facebook group, or on my YouTube channel. So wherever you're watching from, um, thank you and welcome. And if you could just hit um, like or share or tag a friend or subscribe or whatever it is you're supposed to do from how wherever you're watching uh, please do that so you can get um, notifications of my future videos um, so today we're here to talk about um, the full moon um, normally I would have done this tomorrow morning um, but I do have a um, funeral to attend tomorrow and so we need to leave very early in the morning because the funeral is in Boston so um, so I had to switch it to today. So, but we are here to talk about the astrology of the full moon um, that is coming tomorrow. So, um, I'm going to just smudge just a teeny tiny bit and then we'll get started. So, let me see if I can find a little leaf on here. Or a big leaf on here. Some for you guys, and some for me. All right, so I'm just gonna let that burn over here, and we will get right in and get started. All right, so I have a mess on my desk as usual. <laughs> You guys can't see it, but it's very messy. Um, I have stuff everywhere. All right. So we are here, like I said, for the full moon in Aquarius. Um, and so um, full moons are for releasing. So if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that new moon is for setting intentions, so calling things in. And full moon is for releasing, so letting things go um, that no longer serve us or that we don't um, we don't want anymore. Um, so um, usually I try to find a list of a couple of things, um, typically three, because I pretty much do everything in threes, of three things that I want to um, release. And so uh, the three things I picked, and you don't have to pick the same things, um, but I try to pick things that are somewhat related with the energies that are coming through. Um, so um, I'm going to be trying to release drama out of my life. I don't want any extra drama. I <laughs> I really want boring <laughs> in my life. Um, I'm trying to release ego. Um, and ego is one of those things where, um, you know, we have it for a reason. Um, and, um, but with everything, we need to keep it in balance. And um, so um, I'm releasing it, but um, I'm, it's more technically of um, keeping it in balance. But I'm going to be working on releasing some ego. And I'm going to be working on releasing some self-doubt. So um, that's my three things that I picked for this month, this full moon. And like I said, you can pick the same things. Um, there's nothing wrong with that if you pick the same things. But you don't need to pick the same things. And um, so I'm going to go over the astrology part of it. And... Um, then you can kind of go from there and maybe get some ideas of what it is that you want to um, be releasing. And then we're going to go over um, at the end a little bit of the ritual part. Um, I don't do ritual live, um, but I will go over a ritual that you can do. And um, usually during the ritual, um, there'll be a part um, that's reflection. And in that part, then... Um, we'll do the whatever we're calling in or releasing after that part 
because during that reflection time you may change your mind you may change to decide to switch it up a little bit so that's why we do the reflection and then um, either the calling in or the releasing so we'll get to that part in a minute um, so for astrology for right now there is a lot going on a lot going on um, so you're probably most definitely gonna gonna feel this these energies coming through um, and I I'm I don't want these energies that I'm gonna talk about to freak you out or scare you um, the reason that I do talk about them is because I find knowing about the energies that are coming through and being prepared for them um, really helps me um, and um, you know, I, I tend to be somebody that overanalyzes everything. And um, when it comes to the energies of the day, um, instead of my brain going, why did that happen? Why did she say that? Maybe you shouldn't have said this. Maybe you should have done that. When things happen and I can link them back to the energy of the day, it's like my brain is satisfied with that answer. It's like, oh, yeah, that's the energies that's coming through. So that's why that happened. it also helps me mentally prepare for the day if i know the energies are going to be um, off especially if it involves mercury for myself because i have a lot of throat chakra um, issues um, so i know if mercury is involved i know i i need to be a little bit extra prepared for those days um, and and that's really why i do these videos is um because i figured if i can help one person um then you know i consider this video a, a success so anyway um astrology uh like i said we got a lot going on right now jupiter saturn chiron neptune and pluto are all retrograde right now so that's a lot um <laughs> so uh and you're like okay so what does that mean right so um right now is going to be um some feelings of being heavy um some um not like physically not like gravity's pulling you down heavy <laughs> um it's just going to be a heavy feeling um there's going to be a lot of um internal work going on there's going to be a lot of deep reflection going on for you um over the next couple of days um when we talk about new moon and full moon um, there's about a three day window there. Um, so it, the day before, the day of, and the day after. So the energies will kind of carry through um, for those three days. So um, that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, so like I said, over the next couple of days, it's just going to be a lot of like, you're going to really be reflecting on yourself reflecting on your life reflecting on where you're at um, and um, like I said it can feel heavy but it's also um, I think of it as also a positive because um, without those deep reflection days we won't be able to move forward like we should um, you know, we would just be where we are and we'd never reflect on anything and we would just keep doing what we were doing. And, um, you know, we need to have those days of reflection to realize like maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to be or this isn't the path I'm supposed to be on or maybe I'm supposed to be doing this or whatever the it is. So even though those days can be kind of heavy and not the most fun days, um, I do consider them days that we, you know, we do need those days. Um, the full moon itself um, may make you feel a little volatile um, over the next couple of days um, so keep uh, that in mind so um, and that's not permission to just go out and like let loose on someone <laughs> um, the reason I tell you this is as the opposite so that you'll be prepared for that you'll be like okay today is a day that I really could possibly just freak out on somebody and lose my shit and um so i need to be mentally prepared for that <laughs> and um you know whatever you need to do to work through that whether it's work with crystals um whether it's work with affirmations um whether it's meditate 
chant yoga, whatever it is that you, you know, you need to do to help keep yourself in check in balance. Um, you know, definitely over the next couple of days, you're going to want to be doing that. Um, when the emotions are like this, when the, um, energies coming through are like this, they're really heavy and, um, they're volatile and things like that. Um, my suggestion is, um, you know, meditating is great, but my suggestion would be to be out doing something a little bit more physical, something that's going to help you really work through that kind of, um, energy that's going to be coming through. Um, you know, when I think of volatile, you know, you think of, um, you know, going out and punching a punching bag <laughs> to kind of get rid of that energy. Um, so, you know, whether it's jogging or um, chopping wood or just something that you can kind of work through that energy um, would be good for the next couple of days. Um, with the moon conjunct to Pluto, um, I, that's going to add that layer of um, intensity and drama in there. Um, so, uh, that's where I'm, I'm trying to release drama. I don't want any more drama. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be working, um, over the next couple of days, um, of, you know, limiting the drama in my life. Um, I've actually been working on that for about the last couple of weeks. Um, I've been making some big changes in, um, my life and, um, kind of just letting go of things that I don't really need to be doing, um, limiting myself in different kinds of groups on Facebook, um, limiting myself in activities um, that I, you know, really aren't the best um, place for my time. And um, I actually signed up to go back to school. So um, yeah, big shocker, right? Because I'm always in some program um, or something, but this time it's a, it's a certified school. Um, so when I am um, finished, I will actually have a, an associate's degree. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. But anyway, this is going to be a time of intensity and drama over the next couple of days. So, you know, it's going to be, like I said, intense, drama, volatile. <laughs> um, so there are definitely energies that you're going to want to, um, um, well, I don't know. I'm definitely going to want to be prepared for those energies. And I would think that you would want to as well. Um, the sun is um, in Leo. And so um, that is a, it's a home sign. Each planet has a home sign, the sign that it's most comfortable in. So um, sun is in Leo, which is its home sign. Um, and it's in conjunct with Pluto. Um, so uh, even though the sun is in Leo where it's comfortable. Um, that's the word they usually use when it's in its home sign. It's, um, it's comfortable. Um, but because it's in conjunct with Pluto, um, it's going to, um, create internal struggle. So again, we're seeing still the same kind of energy of, um, drama, reflection, um, internal work, um, you know, so it's all going to kind of go together. And um, to me, when there's a lot of different energies and there might be a lot of different things coming at you um, and it feels more like a roller coaster of a day, this is not going to be that. This is all the energies that are coming at us are pretty much closely related. Like I said, you can pretty much see, you know, um, reflection eternal, internal work, eternal work, internal work, um, intensity, drama, internal struggles. Um, it's really a pretty close, um, energy, but that's why it's going to feel so heavy because there's so much of it that's coming in. That's all pretty much the same energy. So it's just going to be really, um, a lot of energy focused on the same areas where other times we have all these energies, but they're different. And then that's when you kind of get your roller coaster day of like your ups and downs and you feel like you're all over the place. And, um, but moving on. So a little bit more about Pluto. So we were just saying how, um, the sun is in conjunct with Pluto and actually the full moon is in conjunct with Pluto as well. Um, and Pluto is retrograde so there's a lot going on um, around Pluto right now um, 
So Pluto is going to kind of um, create shadow for you. So again, um, when we're talking about intense energies and Pluto um, and reflection, um, this could be a really great time for you to utilize that and be doing some shadow work. Um, and again, that's where I have, um, you know, said I'm going to um, release ego and self drop and self drama. Yeah, self doubt. Um, so that is part of my shadow work that I'm doing. Um, so I'm always second guessing myself when it comes to things. Um, like even with school, I'll be like, I've got this. And then other days I'm like, I can't do this. This is going to be too much. I don't know what I was doing. Um, I can't handle this. Um, <laughs> cause that's my brain that doesn't ever shut off. Um, so Pluto's going to be, um, shining some light on our shadow, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so again, I really suggest taking advantage of the energies even though they're not going to be the most pleasant energies to be working with. Um, I still recommend that you, you know, we're going to go through it. So why not take advantage of it and use it um, to your advantage if you can. Um, and really let um, some of that shadow work, you know, take the time to, to do the um, reflection and um, the internal work and um, see what comes up for your shadow and see what you really need um, to be working on. Um, so again, um, also a, a battle between ego and soul. Um, so um, again, there's the ego that I am going to be trying to uh, release balance. Um, so the between ego and soul is going to cause um, your emotions to feel like they're kind of out of control. Um, and that's going to be that drama and that volatile energy that's going to be coming through for you. Um, so you're going to feel um, you're going to feel not in control of your emotions. Um, and that's kind of how that works, right? Is when you have a um, what's the word I want to use when you just kind of um, explode and you know just everything kind of comes out and you go kind of crazy for a minute and yell and scream and swear and whatever else you're going to do <laughs> um you're not in control um at that time and so um again this is where for me this information is good to know because when i can feel myself starting to get angry um and I know that this is easily where this could lead today or tomorrow. Um, it's a good way for me to kind of reel it back in and be like, nope, we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to do that. We're not going to put ourselves in that situation. We're not going to cause that kind of drama. <laughs> um, so, um, again, you know, even though it's, I'm, I know I'm repeating myself, but even though it's heavy and not pleasant energies, I really do recommend that you just take full advantage of it and use it the best that you can. Um, and really, like I said, just, I know I'm repeating myself again, but it's important to um, just take the time to do the reflection, to do the internal work and um, shed some light on your shadow and really think about what it is that you really want to be releasing. Um, for the longest time, you know, I kept thinking, I don't really have anything to release. I'm good. And then when I really got thinking about it, um, you know, I realized that there's actually a lot of things that I could be better at. So it wasn't necessarily that I was horrible at things or horrible about my feelings or horrible about um, internal work or anything like that. It's just I realized that you can always be better. So, um, and so again, taking that time for that reflection and um, shedding light on our shadow is also a really good time to remember um, that we're here for something. Um, I'm a, I'm a big believer of that. I don't necessarily know if we have a specific mission that we're supposed to do. 
um, but I am a believer that we are here um, with a specific path in our lives and if we stray off our paths the universe usually has a way of kind of putting us back on or creating a, a little path that maybe will get us back to where we're supposed to be um, it'll give us little nudges um, to be back in there so in your lifetime I mean I'm almost 50 um, so um, I've had lots of different times that my path has shown me something and I've chose to go another way and it has come back and come back and come back and um, now that I'm almost 50 I'm like um, I guess I better um, get on the right path here um, and get started on what I'm supposed to be doing um, so remember you're here for a reason um, and that doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna all um, you know save the world or be famous or whatever um, our missions could be very small and um, but there's still uh, a reason for them so don't give up um, and don't you know um, I don't know what sometimes I get stuck on words don't settle I guess is what I'm trying to say um, don't um, just be like I guess this is what I got and this is what life's gonna be like and I guess this is what I should be happy with um, cuz I mean that's a little bit different than what I was saying a minute ago but I just thought I was all set and I thought it wasn't that I was settling I just thought that's the way um, I it was more ego I guess that I'm like no I'm good I don't need any help um, so it was more ego than settling um, and um, it took me a while to realize that uh, like I said we can all be better we can do better um, and um, so whether your ego is involved or your settling or your self-doubt or whatever it is just remember you can always do better you can always be more um, and that's not a pressure thing I'm not saying like you all have to go out and sign up to do something and, and be better um, but just remember that there's always something that um, we can be better at um, over the next couple of days with all the energies of being so heavy and um, really deep <laughs> um, you might want to feel like you're gonna want to escape or run away um, and um, you know part of me kind of thinks that's not such a bad idea um, I don't think we should run away from our problems I don't think we should run away from whatever is going on and when the energies of the planets are involved there's no really running away because whether you're where you are now or a hundred miles away um, those are still going to be the energies of the planets um, so that's not going to go away for you but if you need to go somewhere um, to you know um, remove yourself from stress and drama and give yourself a place to um, reflect and do that inner work then you know I think that's a good idea um, for me personally it's on the back of the motorcycle um, when I'm on the back of the motorcycle and I'm out in nature and um, experiencing the outdoors in our in my own way um, it's a really good time for me to do a lot of reflection and um, inner work and but my brain never shuts off so um, but it's nice because there's not a lot of other distractions um, you know I'm looking at the trees I'm looking at maybe rivers and um, the mountains and things like that but there's um, not other people that are coming to me or trying to get to me and I don't have my phone and so um, it's you know just a kind of a nice um, getaway time for me so um, don't run away from your problems but if you need time to separate yourself from um, people to kind of do some of your work I think that's okay um, find yourself a nice quiet spot or, or whatever it is that you want to do um, like I said maybe you want to go out in the woods and be quiet or maybe you want to go to the gym and work out whatever it is um, for you that that gives you that um, that time to process um, 
It's also a really good time to practice gratitude. So whenever the energies are um, really heavy like this, um, practicing gratitude and remembering all the things that you can be thankful for um, sometimes puts things in perspective, helps balance things out a little bit. And when you're putting um, things out into the universe, that's what you're going to be getting back. So if you're putting out gratitude, um, you're going to be getting back um, gratitude. So, um, and you can even be thankful for, you know, little things. Um, yeah. I think sometimes, and because like I said, my brain doesn't shut off. I'm like, I'm happy I have a car that I don't have to have a horse and a buggy. <laughs> I'm not happy about pollution, um, but um, I'm happy that I don't have to um, get up every morning and tend to a horse and um, for that horse to get on the buggy and take me to work. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's just a little glimpse of how my brain works. Um, but yeah, and I'm happy, you know, that when um, it's raining that I have a roof over my head. I love the rain. Um, we need the rain. The earth needs the rain. But it um, doesn't necessarily mean I want to be out in the rain. Um, so, again, you can take things and find, um, you know, things to be um, grateful for that are, are very small and seem like everyday kind of mundane things. But, um, you know, you can find ways to be grateful for those as well. And remember, we are in control. Um, sometimes we don't feel in control and sometimes our emotions do flow over and um, get the best of us, but we really are in control and um, we just have to remind ourselves that. And sometimes, you know, maybe it's just repeating it to yourself in your head, you know, um, for example, if um, it's always my supervisor, if my supervisor is bothering me and things I I can just be like you know I'm in control I'm in control I'm in control I'm in control you know I can't control her um, but I can control me and so um, sometimes that's what it takes is for me to sit there and go I'm in control I'm in control I'm in control and sometimes it takes getting up and going I'm going to go uh, out to my car for a minute and just you know make up an excuse like oh I have to go get something out of my car just to, um, again, remove yourself from that situation um, and uh, take a minute to regroup before you have to come back. Um, and don't give up your power. So, you know, that's another thing we do a lot is we give up our power and we just kind of like let people take it um, because we don't want to say no to people. Um, and... Um, it's okay to say no. Um, I posted something in the group um, the other day about it's okay to say no. And um, actually, I think a couple of years ago, I did a video um, on that it's okay to say no. Um, if, if I find that, I will maybe put it in the comments. Um, or if you're watching on YouTube, I'll put it in one of the little pop-up windows somewhere. So, um, Back to uh, t t astrology. <laughs> um, Jupiter is in Aquarius. Um, so um, that's going to help give us some of our power back. Um, so that is a good positive um, energy that's going to be coming through. So i um, going to help bring some of that power back for us. Um, the full moon is in Aquarius. Um, and it's actually the first full moon of two full moons that are going to be in Aquarius this year. So, um, so they're going to be in a row. So this full moon and next full moon will be both will be in Aquarius. Um, and so this is going to, um, show some resolution, but the resolution may not become clear to you until after the second full moon so it's going to be happening um, between this full moon and the next full moon so over the next 28.5 days um, <laughs> give or take um, there's going to be some resolution happening for you um, but you it's going to be kind of behind the scenes so you're not necessarily going to be 
totally aware of what's going on until after the second full moon and then um, it should really kind of come to light and you'll be like oh that's what was going on um, kind of thing so um, there is good positive stuff going on there as well um, like I said the energies are heavy and they are intense over the next couple of days but I really do recommend um, using them to your advantage um, and um, using them the best that you can you know make the best out of it so um, quick before we go I don't even know what time it is I can't I don't have my glasses on so I can't see the screen um, all right so we got like three minutes literally um, to go over quick ritual before I go so some of the things you might want to gather is candle lighter sage a bell um, something that makes noise so a bell a rattle a singing bowl um, something like that um, a, a wand um, a blanket if you're going to go outside um, or inside too I guess something comfortable to sit on so a blanket a pillow a yoga mat something like that I do recommend um, having a snack maybe a little crackers or something and some water as well for after so you're going to light your candle morning Bobby Joe have a good day um, light your candle you're going to smudge you're going to ring your bell or whatever it is that you have for your um, noise so like I said rattle um, tuning fork singing bowl whatever you're going to use then you would use that then you're going to use your wand um, to open um, sacred space and I will put um, a video um, I did a while back about opening um, doing ceremony performing ceremony so I'll put that either somewhere in the video or in the comments so you can watch that if you haven't seen it then for this part of it um, so that part opening your you know doing that all is going to stay the same every time um, you know that's basically the the steps of opening and preparing for ritual um, for this ritual under the full moon um, one of the things you could do is you could play some music um, play something that's really going to um, energize you put you in a good state of mind um, because like I was saying this full moon is going to have some really heavy deep energies and when I was talking earlier about do something active that's going to kind of help work through that uh, what we're going to do for this ritual is we're going to play some music and we're going to dance under the full moon um, if it's foggy and you can't see the full moon it's fine you're still getting the energies of it and um, if you saw last week's last week's um the new moon video that i did the last new moon video i did i'm sitting on it so it won't come off here we made um a skirt so i took an old belt and i bought fabric and all i did was rip it in strips and then loop it over and i have made myself it's very hard to show this here I've made myself a skirt and put it over shorts or leggings or I would well I suppose you could wear just that if you wanted <laughs> um, I'm not going to um, I will have leggings or something underneath um, and that's what you're gonna want to wear or you don't have to it's it would be fun to wear I guess during um, the full moon while you're out there dancing um, so during the time of the dancing is um, a time to kind of get out of your head and kind of just let the energies go through you and release them and um, then after that um, while you're dancing um, take a few minutes and kind of visualize whether you got to close your eyes or however you want to do it visualize your shadow self kind of separating from you 
and then have your shadow self dance with you so we're not removing our shadow we have a shadow side of us for a reason um, and the whole thing for me is accepting my shadow and um, working with my shadow um, and using my shadow the best way that I can um, so if we're visualizing our shadow self across from us and dancing with us we're in unison with it we are um, working together with our shadow self you know we're happy when you're dancing with a partner you're happy with that partner um, you know you're having fun um, it's somebody you want to spend time with so kind of think of your shadow self as a part of you um, that is um, something to embrace uh, that doesn't it's very complicated <laughs> it doesn't mean we don't have to do the shadow work and it doesn't mean like we could just be like oh that's my shadow self and it's not an excuse to to do things that we really shouldn't do um, but understanding your shadow self and understanding why those things are coming through for you um, for me personally made a huge difference and even things still now pop up that I kind of thought I had um, processed through and still come up every once in a while and I have to go back and do that work again so anyway um, do the dance part dance with your shadow self and then um, kind of notice and this is the reflection part so kind of take notice of when you're dancing with your your shadow self take notice of what it is you're feeling um, what your emotions are and um, really what it is that you might want to um, be making um, better um, or things that you might want to be releasing and that's when after that part you're going to go ahead and do your releasing part so you can pick one thing to release or you can pick 20 things to release um, 20 things is going to be a lot of work for you um, <coughs> remember just when we're releasing it we still have to kind of do the work we can't just write it down and burn it and then be like okay I'm done I released it uh, we still have to actually do some of the work um, so maybe not 20 but if you know there's no right or wrong way you can pick what you want um, I usually pick three and so that's the three things I will work for until the next full moon and um, so um, then you can pick what it is that you want to be releasing and then you're gonna um, thank whoever it was that you've called in and so you're gonna close up your sacred space you're going to ring your bell, rattle, tuning fork, singing bowl, and then blow out your candle, and then you're all done. And then I do suggest, that's when I suggest having a little bit of cracker and water, um, a little snack, something to drink um, to help kind of um, ground you. And um, it's also going to help, um, usually after things like that, for the next couple of days, I, I feel pretty drained. Um, so it's going to help um, get some of that, um, that energy back that we've been releasing. So, so that pretty much wraps it up for the full moon. If you have any questions, any comments, um, want more information on something um, that I covered, uh, you want a um, some, some specific help on something, I can't talk, some specific help on something, um, certainly feel free to reach out to me. Um, I will help the best that I can. And um, with that, I guess I will see you guys all back here Monday morning at 7 for our weekly forecast. And I hope everybody has a really great weekend. Um, if you do go out, um, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear what you did for ritual um, or maybe snap a shot, a picture of um, you doing ritual or your ritual spot or whatever it is you feel like sharing. Um, please go ahead and, and share that with us. and because when you guys share it really helps inspire other people that are watching including myself you know you guys have great ideas that I might not have thought of so um, you know sharing is great for everybody but it's still great for me too so uh, a little bit of um, you know <laughs> my own uh, taking advantage of it myself so all right so 
I will see you guys all on Monday. Thank you for watching. Um, and remember, as always, be kind. Uh, your kindness is not only going to improve your day, it could improve somebody else's day, and it potentially could change someone's life for the better. So thanks for watching, guys. Love you.